Mona just gathers people and has such an amazing, consistent reputation of involving a variety of voices. She's one of the pillars of our community. In the late 80s, queer people with children was not a popular uh, proposition as it is now. Mona would have these mammoth party, dinner, good times at their place. And so there would be food for days. And so here are women bringing their children. And that's how we really started being able to find time and spend time and give birth to another activity that we had to do or another movement we had to get on to. Back in 1992, when there was the funding that was established thanks to Bond Foster, Mona and Pat Logue took up the mantle, took up the charge, and set up the office and set up shop and began doing that work for us from the Midwest offices where the groundwork was laid for what became Lawrence v. Texas. And that happened here. Mona and Pat helped build this office, but also helped change history. In the late 1990s, a very small group of us, including Mona, got together to think about bidding on the 2006 Gay Games. She was a really great ambassador for the Gay Games. People from New Zealand to South Africa to Europe loved Mona, and uh, it was really important to show who Chicago was. I met Mona from an introduction from a mutual friend, and at the time when I met her, I had probably the biggest battle I was fighting in my life, and, was, and that was for the custody of my children. She introduced me to another uh, trans person who went through a similar situation, also connected me with Lambda Legal, uh, for some counseling, and I won the battle. Mona does hold a special place in my heart. And myself, my kids, we're so thankful to her, and we really value her. I was a little surprised when um, Ron Emanuel appointed Mona as head of the Commission on Human Relations because she doesn't compromise the community, right? Oftentimes, positions in the city are representing the mayor to the community. And this was a choice that I felt was the community to the mayor. The first time I met Mona, I was already a little bit of a groupie. I am blessed to have had uh, the experience of working alongside her and to see how much impact um, somebody like her can have on many communities. PrEP was created to increase access to public accommodations like restrooms for transgender and gender nonconforming folks. And having her at the table was crucial to making sure that we were able to advance the change, changes that we made. Well, I threw Mona a retirement party because she is very special to me. It was really amazing to see how many people were there and the love that was reflected upon everyone towards her. I don't think Mona will ever retire. Even now, the first thing she started doing was making masks for people. So she, she never stopped working. The work that she did in the community was critical across so many areas that any one person wouldn't necessarily know all of it. She has inspired so many others to keep doing the work moving forward. I know that, that she doesn't stop. Thank you, Mona, for decades of friendship and community work. Thank you, Mona. Thank you, Mona. Thank you, Mona. Thank you, Mona. We really love you and appreciate you. But thank you so much for every adventure, every experience, and for the gift of sisterhood, honey. Hi, I'm Yvette Cardona. I'm the proud wife of Mona Noriega, who's getting Bon Foster award today and since we can't be together at this time mm. and we really can't be together because we're at the top of Mount Mitchell in North Carolina with family um, Brian and Lambda asked us to make this video and um, to read this proclamation for Mona Lambda Legal recognizes Mona Noriega for her decades of service to Chicago's LGBTQ community Perhaps no other individual has had such a positive and lasting impact on our community, creating safe spaces for LGBTQ families, writing for and publishing LGBTQ magazines, opening and later running Lambda Legal's Midwest office, helping found Amigas Latinas, bringing the gay games to Chicago, leading the Chicago Commission on Human Relations under two mayors, two mayors, 
championing major changes to Chicago's anti-discrimination code, all while raising two phenomenal children who I adore and our beautiful granddaughter. And of course, also um, mentoring subsequent generations of new leaders, new movement activists and advocates. Mona Noriega has done it all. She is an inclusive, collaborative, resilient, fierce, loving, generous, I could go on and on, a human being who has made a difference in all our lives, especially in my life and in the life of her children and her granddaughter. So, Lambda says, Mona, thank you. I thank you on behalf of our families and friends um, and our city and our community are better because of you. I want to thank you for this honor. I'm, um, I'm humbled by the recognition, but it's always been an honor and a privilege to do this work. And I think I thank you all for being here, for supporting Lambda Legal, for recognizing Lambda Legal's work, as now their work is more important than ever. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for this recognition. Thank you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Peace.